Is it rude to burp and fart in Ukraine? <laughs> is it rude? We're going to play a very interesting game. Let's call it, is it rude in Ukraine? So now I'm going to ask you a question and I, I would like to, to um, see here in chat your opinion. What do you think about it? Is it rude in Ukraine or not? Your opinion. So our first one is, is it rude not to take your shoes off when you enter somebody's house? Is it rude not to ask about that? <laughs> Okay, Bill thinks that it is rude. Okay. Uh, I would ask if I should do it. Okay, that's good. Yes. Don't take your shoes off in recent... Yes, absolutely. Yes. Yes, it's true. Yeah, don't take your shoes, please. <laughs> yeah. So, guys, you are absolutely right. <laughs> It's very rude in Ukraine. Yes, Jesus is right too. Uh, it's absolutely rude in Ukraine not to take your shoes off when you enter somebody's home because we always put our shoes off when we, we are at home. I mean, always, every family, doesn't matter if they live in an apartment, in a flat, or if they live in a house, they will put their shoes off, like, you know, yeah, I mean, if you if you enter somebody's home, you don't worry. You cannot even ask. You know, it's a rule in every everybody's home that you should put your shoes off. So don't even ask. It's true. It's absolutely true. I mean, I have never been to anybody's home where they where they told me that it's okay to keep my shoes on. Really, never, never. <laughs> uh, is it rude not to bring a gift when invited to dinner? Oh, it's a great question. It's a great question. Uh, what kind of di dinner, Bill? If it's just an um, um, invitation to usual dinner, or is it some celebration? By the way, yeah, I also have this question in, in my list, you know. So... I would like firstly to, to hear your opinion. What do you think? Is it rude not to bring a gift um, for birthday party, for example? You should bring gift to birthday. Okay. Uh, George is saying, yep. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Thomas saying, I would bring a gift if it's it is someone I like. <clears throat> okay, guys. Yeah, I just wanted to say that in Ukraine it's very important to bring a gift when you're invited to the birthday, always, it's very important. And I even heard that in States, when, um, for example, if I have birthday party and I invite you uh, to the restaurant, you would pay for yourself, yeah, in the restaurant. Am I correct? And it is very interesting because in Ukraine it's absolutely opposite. Because if I invite you to my birthday party, I, I will pay because I'm uh, celebrating my birthday and I'm inviting you. So it's very interesting. Maybe maybe I'm wrong, but I, I, I'm, uh, I will be really glad to know your opinion. Is that true? Okay, George is saying in Canada the person doing the in, inviting should pay, but a small rule is the person asking for the bill is meant to pay for the meal. Oh, it's interesting. Yeah, I think I think in Ukraine the same. But you know, <laughs> if they are not not going to pay, they will not ask for a bill. I mean, <clears throat> those people who were invited. <laughs> If you invited me, I would bring flowers. Oh, yeah, Bill, that's great. That's great. Yes, to bring flowers. Yeah, it's it's really a great idea because it's very popular to present flowers on um, not only for a birthday, but for any celebration. And uh, I would say that, you know, we, which also will be very rude, also will be very rude not to present flowers, for example, for you know international women's day for 8th 
of March. It's a very, very big celebration in Ukraine. I mean, all the ladies are expecting, you know, some presents, some flowers at this day. So it's also it also will be rude not to, you know, not to present uh, flowers to your lady at this day, 8th of March very important flowers are very <clears throat> very popular so you can present flowers for many kinds of celebration and uh, without you know without special holiday to present flowers is so much great too so my next question is it rude to do this i'm sorry in um in the restaurant or anywhere even if you're at somebody's home is it rude tinkle sounds with your spoon uh okay so you think that this sound is bad yeah it's rude uh bill is saying yes don't make noise sorry <laughs> i'm sorry guys also don't talk loud uh or make scene at restaurant okay guys yes you're correct again <laughs> yes it's very rude to to be very loud yes you're right bill i also had this you no know, question about is it rude uh, to be loud so that's true it's pretty rude uh, uh to to talk very loud but you know it all also depends on situation because ukrainians they're pretty emotional people so um it's it's okay if you will show your emotions i think it's fine of course it depends on where you are um but i'm very loud too and all the ukrainian people always say me that diana please please be more be more quiet i'm really too loud is it rude in ukraine to rebuke others people's other people's children for example that somebody's child hurts animal or throwing the trash away i mean outside on the ground or if somebody's child is taking other's child child's toys do you think it's rude uh, for if, if it's not this child's parents if it's <laughs> somebody's <laughs> somebody's other parents do you think it is rude to to rebuke to rebuke to say like don't do that you have here first answer george is saying no so it's okay yeah um adults should be respected by children if they are doing wrong okay um parents we will get angry if you do that interesting yes guys so george were right it's not rude i mean it's it's absolutely fine if uh, somebody's child is doing something wrong of course it's not right to shout at somebody's child of course it's not not the way but it's fine to tell in ukraine it's fine to tell somebody's child not to do that it's absolutely normal um for example uh, i will tell you here here you know when we arrived to spain and um, uh, we had this situation where um our neighbors spanish people for a living next door they saw my cat and they saw my cat and they just grabbed it and you know tried to hug it and my grandmother, she, she came to them and said, no, 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 don't do that. And ch children were shocked because I think they did not expect that. But that's true in Ukraine. I mean, I mean it's okay to tell, um, to tell honestly, not to shout, of course, but to tell like it's better not to do that. It's fine. It's fine. And when I was a child, I received the same, you know, from somebody's other parents, <laughs> don't do this especially if it is which is cat yes yes <laughs> but i i mean maybe it's surprising because i heard that uh, in america for example they never say anything yeah you're very polite with your with your children in ukraine too but it's fine to to tell to tell children not to do something in old days 
it was okay to correct somebody's kids, but now that has changed the opposite. You know, George, I think it's for better because, you know, it, it can hurt. It can hurt a child when, when a child is being corrected by somebody um, he or she doesn't know. For example, when I was um, a child, it was quite, you know, quite um, hurtful for me to be corrected by somebody. But it's reality. It's reality. So I think, I think, um, in this case, it's good that you don't you don't let other people to correct your children. It's 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 for good. So our next question will be: Is it rude in Ukraine to ask ladies' age? What do you think? Yes, it is. Okay. Don't say never ask a lady how old is she. Okay, yeah, it's rude. Thomas saying rude. Guys, why are you so smart? <laughs> I cannot get you on wrong answers because you're right. Yeah, yeah, it's absolutely rude to ask ladies' age. Um, in in Ukraine, my grandmother is saying me is telling me right now that I'm too loud can you see guys that's that's what i that's what i have told you that for ukraine it's very important to be quiet i'm sorry so yeah it's absolutely rude in ukraine to ask lady age yeah please be careful with that <laughs> i just hope that today you know i will i will catch you at least in one question <laughs> do you think uh, it is rude not to give a seat for older people in transport, in public transport. There is rude in every country, in every country, I think Tom says. Um, okay, yes. Okay. It's quite rude in Ukraine also not to give a seat, but I will tell you that, you know, some people sometimes they don't show that they see this you know older person and they're just turning turning their head in the other way not to see it and they just trying you know to escape it trying to not to give a seat actually so um it's uh, sometimes happens too it's true okay great guys so our next question is it rude not to flush and clean toilet after each use absolutely rude <laughs> yes guys it's very rude i would say in the from one to ten it's like 50 i don't know it's very rude very very rude <laughs> Is it rude for men to leave toilet a seat up? Um, yes, yes, Bill, it's rude too. Um, yes, it's rude too. It's not that much rude because uh, you can just forgot, but but anyway, it's pretty rude. I would say from one to ten, it's eight, eight and eight point five, eight point five, yeah. Is it rude to burp and fart in Ukraine? <laughs> Is it rude? Of course. Okay. Any other suggestions? <laughs> yeah, so you're of course you're of course correct. <laughs> we would only laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Bill, but I don't do that. <laughs> of course, yeah, it's very rude. So please be careful with that. <laughs> please write us in comments um, if you have any ideas of any games which we can to play, you know, here in chat. I hope you, you enjoyed today's game. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> have a good day. Thank you. Hello, привет, and welcome to UkraineDating.tv. 
Our channel is the world's first of its kind, providing free live streaming every single day, seven days a week with the real genuine beautiful ukrainian ladies finally now you have the opportunity to video chat live seven days a week with different beautiful ukraine girls of all ages and walks of life you get to ask all your deepest burning questions about all things ukraine ukraine culture ukraine women and ukraine current events and if you come to enough of our live streams, you might just discover what makes us mysterious women tick. Guys, I think you understand we're like David fighting Goliath here to bring you the truth once and for all. Our channel's purpose is to debunk the myth and stigma created by the toxic paper letter scam industry. And we hope you agree the best way to accomplish that is by giving you the opportunity to video chat with average Ukrainian girls that represent the real women of Ukraine. And then you be the judge about what's real and what's not. Guys, please know that we're doing this all for you. So do me a favor and subscribe to our new channel and help us help you, your fellow man, and help us bring Goliath to his knees. So guys, can I ask you to share this video with all your friends? Only together we can make a difference, guys.